Okay, so you have some files, you're in Windows XP, and you want to copy them to a CD. First thing you need to do is go to those files. Um, if you go down to the Start menu, All Programs, Accessories, and then Windows Explorer, that gives you the Windows Explorer where you can look at all the files on your hard drive. I've already got a dummy project folder set up. This is the files that I want to copy. There's a folder that has three more files in it. Um, and I want to copy, I want to put these three files and this folder that has some files in it on my CD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a space off to the lower right of the files I want. I'm going to click and hold and drag. So I select the files. Then I'm going to, I can put my mouse on any one of these selected icons. And you want to put them on the icon. Um, and you want to right click. That gives me this drop down menu. You want to go down to send to wherever it is. You may not have all the same stuff that mine is showing, but you'll have the send to choice. That makes this fly out, and you want to go down to where it either says CD drive, DVD, RW drive. If you have a drive that can burn, it should show up here, and you click on that. Now down here, when I did that, this little flag popped up telling me I have files waiting, waiting to be written. So I can just click on this. Now, these files are not really the files that are here. These just point to where those were. They're not on your CD or your DVD yet. They're just in a staging area. They're waiting to be burned to your CD. Um, I can delete them if I decide not to burn my CD or I can write these files to CD. Now the reason it doesn't just put them on the CD is maybe I've got some more files I want to put on here. So I go over here and I have some notes. This is on the desktop. If I right click on that, go down to send to and do the CD drive again, it just popped up over here. It added it. So now this will also burn to the CD drive. So I can do multiple files to the same CD from different places on my hard drive by doing this staging thing. Now, when I'm ready to burn, all I have to do is click on this. Now, right now, there is no writable disk in my drive. So I'm going to click. Now it's given me this dialog box and it's asking for the name of the CD. So I put the name that I want for the CD and I go down here and I click next. Now see it's telling me there's no disk and it wants me to put a blank disk in so that's what I'm going to do right now. Now there's a next here, but I shouldn't have to press that when it recognizes that there is a blank disk in there. It should automatically go to, to start writing. And it's now writing. And all we have to do is wait for it to finish. And I'll just jump ahead here to the end. Okay, so it is finished writing the CD successfully. Um, I can click this and hit finish and it will burn another copy of this, but I don't really need it to do that. Um, so I'm going to hit finish. Now it burned the disk and then popped it out of the drive. So I'm going to stick the drive, the disk back in.
Now I just stick the stuck the disc back in. And you see the name is Dummy Project, like I taped typed in that uh, little space. I've got the extras folder with the three files in it. I've got the three files that I originally selected with the folder. And I've got the one that I dragged from the desktop. And they're all in this CD that I can now pop out and take wherever I need to go. And that's it.